Hi, I'm the Calculus Professor and today we'll be talking about areas between curves. In problem number 25, we'd like to find the area of the region bounded by two curves. Uh, one is x equals y squared minus 3y plus 12 and the other is x equals negative 2y squared minus 6y plus 30. And as you can see, both of these are parabolas and one of them is laying on its side pointing to the right, one's laying on its side pointing to the left, and so there's some area that's trapped between these two parabolas. So if I want to evaluate what's the area that's trapped between the two parabolas, then I need to know, uh, well, first of all, we can see that there's a top function. If you look at this from right to left, uh, there's a rightmost function or a top function, and there's a leftmost function, which is the bottom function. And we want to uh, figure out, okay, what do I need to integrate from then? I've got this top function, I've got this bottom function. What y value do I start at? And what y value do I end my integration at? And this one, I'm not just going to eyeball it. I think that. Uh, I'm actually going to set these two guys equal to each other and solve for y. So what I want to do is I want to take these two functions, y squared minus 3y plus 12, and set that equal to negative 2, needs a squared, negative 2y squared minus 6y. Uh, plus 30 and then solve for y and see where are the two y values which these two curves intersect. So if I move all of this stuff to one side I get a nice quadratic equation so I get 3y squared I move this negative 6y over and I get plus 3y I move the 30 over I get minus 18 is equal to 0 uh, I could divide both sides by 3. If I do, I get y squared uh, plus y minus 6 equals 0. And now this factors down to y, let's see, um, plus 3, uh, y minus 2 equals 0. And so what I end up with is that y would either be negative 3 or positive 2. So this is... 2, this is minus 3, and now we have our limits of our integration. Alright, so now that we have our limits of integration, we can set up our integral, and our integral is going to be the integral from negative 3 to 2 of the top function minus the bottom function. Now here on this graph you can see our top function, or the rightmost function, is negative 2y squared minus 6y plus 30. So that's what I'm going to start with here. I've got minus 2y squared minus 6y plus 30 minus uh, the bottom function, which is my y squared minus 3y plus 12. All of that dy. Okay, before actually taking an antiderivative, we could combine this uh, stuff and make it a little bit more simple. We've got integral from negative 3 to 2. Okay, we've got a minus 2y squared minus y squared, which is minus 3y squared. We've got a minus 6y plus 3y, which is a minus 3y. And then finally we have a 30 minus 12, which is positive 18 dy. Now let's take an antiderivative. Antiderivative here. Uh, antiderivative of negative 3y squared would be minus y cubed. Antiderivative of negative 3y would be minus 3 over 2 y squared. And finally, antiderivative of 18 is plus 18 
y evaluated from minus 3 to 2. All right, let's plug things in at this point, and we get, um, if we plug in 2, we get 2 cubed, uh, or minus 8. Uh, if we plug in 2 here, we get 2 squared, which is 4, divided by 2 is 2, times minus 3 is minus 6. And finally, we plug in 2. 2 times 18 is plus 36. All right, minus. Now we plug in minus 3. We get minus 3 cubed, which is minus 27, times minus 1 is positive 27. We get minus 3 squared, which is 9, times 3 is 27, so it's minus 27 halves. Minus 27 halves. And then finally, we get minus 3 times 18, which is negative 54. Alright, let's put that all together. I'm running out of room here, so I'm just going to make this come right up here, which is equal to, okay, what do we have here? We have 36 minus 6, which is 30, minus 8 is 22. So we've got a 22. That's all three of these. Then we've got minus 27, <coughs> minus 27, uh, plus 54, and then plus 27 halves. Okay, let's put all this together. 54 minus 27 is 27, plus 22 is 49. 49 plus 27 halves. 49 is otherwise known as 98 halves uh, plus 27 halves is equal to how many halves? Uh, let's see, plus 7 is 105 plus 20 is 125 over 2, and our answer is 125 halves. And that's how much area we have trapped between these two parabolic curves.